All right, so if you watched the last video of me installing Dehancer on this beautifully old iMac, this is kind of part two, where I'll be going through the first steps of using Dehancer. My main reason behind using this or do making this video is because Dehancer released some new updates to their version of Dehancer that's in Final Cut Pro, and I wanna test some of those out. But first, I had to install it, and I installed it in the previous video, which I'll link above, down in the description below the like button. But right now, we are going to create a new project in Final Cut Pro. Create a new project. Even on 1016, I forgot this is how Final Cut Pro create those projects. Okay, we're gonna just start with that. Now we're going to install some footage. Yeah, let's go with this one. So now we have a clip in here. We have Dehancer right over here. And let's take this clip, some of it, and drag it down onto the timeline. And to add Dehancer to your clip, you can drag it right on top of the clip. Let's see, what a struggle. And it's loading Dehancer as you can see. Let's take a look at quickly how we can convert this footage. So the input or well, the source, we're gonna choose a camera. The camera we're gonna choose is Sony because we used a Sony FX3. The camera you wanna choose is the FX3. And then the format you want it is, I shot it at S log three, 12,800. And now let's go back to <laughs> this part over here where the film we're actually, the strip we were actually editing. And this is what it looks like. Let's turn it off, back on. And you can come down here and this is the best part, the film emulation. I like to use this one right here, this Procudin. Gorski 1906 experimental. Let's come down here and turn down off the film grain. But the one thing that I want to highlight right here is the film damage. This is one of the new features that they added in the Hanser, which I'll be talking about in the next one. But right now we have the Hanser installed. We chose a camera profile and right off the bat, without doing much of anything, it looks pretty good. You can check out a download and install Dehancer in this video right here, and my full review in a video right here. I wanna thank you for liking and subscribing while staying awesome, stay awesome.